Welcome, everyone, to NBA action here on 2K Sports. The Western Conference semifinals roll on with Game 3. It's the Minnesota Timberwolves going up against the Houston Rockets. See you at the half. We're live from Houston, where the crowd is on their feet. Here we are, Game 2 of this Western Conference semifinal. Hi, everyone. I'm Kevin Harlan, along with Steve Curry, Clark Kellogg, and welcome to 2K Sports and the NBA. Taking a look at Houston, they managed to take one game on the road. Now the challenge to take care of business on their home court. Well, they set out and got done what needed to be done on the road. Now at home, the comfort zone, the fans. But sometimes there's a little more pressure on the home team because everybody expects them to play better and to win. So they'll have to guard against that, and we'll see how it shakes out. But I'm sure that's pressure they're happy to have on themselves. Getting a split in those first two games was more or less a, a best-case scenario for them. So with Nash sitting on the bench, this is Rick Adelman's lineup. We've got Anthony. Here's out there with Kobe. Then it's Romero Kaur. And it's LeBron in at the three spot. And for the Rockets. Ball is out there with Smith. Then there's Spencer Hawes. Then there's Lewis Williams. And it's Shumpert in at the shooting guard. Tip off goes to Minnesota. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. Back to Pierce. Some good ball movement here. With the shot. Gets the jumper from the corner to fall. And he's on the board early. And here's Houston. They're looking to bounce back after the bitter loss on Saturday. I was very disappointed in their ball movement, uh, their, their shot selection, their spacing. It seemed like they had no rhythm at the offensive end. None at all, Steve. And in part because they did a poor job of spacing the floor. And when you don't space the floor, it's hard to get shooters open. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Well, Kevin McHale had a few moments for me. Stealing a win on the road was huge for them, but Coach said that protecting their home court is an even bigger issue. And to do that, he says the key is aggressive defense. As he put it, we want to prevent them from getting into any kind of comfort zone at our end of the floor. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Doris. Here is Williams, averaging 12 points a game. Pierce covering. Williams can't get it to go. That was not pretty there. you got to make that one, but maybe that's not his range. And there's Kobe. That's good on the assist by Anthony. Kobe's got his first basket of the night. To halt the run, another miss by Houston. The Timberwolves with a quick start to this game. James. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. That's on Lewis Williams. That's a lot of contact there. Good call. You know, he bothered his shot, but he's still got a pair of free throws out of it. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Nash has checked in. And here are the Rockets now. It's a 10-point game. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. And Coach could tell they were out of sync. So he's going to try to straighten it out. Here is Williams. Anthony against Smith. Over Anthony. The shot's good from Smith. Well, they had to take the lid off the hoop, I guess, but they finally get one to go there. Yeah, a bit of an unsettled start. I mean, maybe that'll get him going. He should make that one. Guys, he had a pretty good look at the basket. Just couldn't get it to go. Backing down is Wallace. And the layup is good. You know, it is really hard to miss shots that close to the basket. Deep two from Anthony. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Not the best shot selection there. Well, I agree. He could have gotten something better on that trip. Shumpert, guarded down by Memo Okur. Wallace, good! Wallace has got his second basket of the night. He is extremely comfortable behind that three-point line. I mean, especially when you give him that kind of room to operate. Nash, the pass to Kobe. There it is. It's Nash picking up the assists. Kobe's got his second bucket. Williams against Nash from 20 feet out again the Rockets score here's Nash 
right now averaging seven points a game. And this one for three. And there's Kobe. That's good on the assist by LeBron. Seven points for Kobe Bryant. LeBron against Wallace. He's picked up by LeBron. Wallace dishes to Smith. Covered by Anthony. Five to shoot. Here's Wallace. LeBron knocks it away. And that one's good. Wallace has got his third basket of the night right there. Myers from 14. Gerald Wallace grabs the miss. Difficult shot from mid-range, and the defense was all over him. Boy, I like the close out there, Steve. Well done. Houston making some changes. Francisco Elson's checked in for Hawes. And Al Harrington subbed in for Josh Smith. And the Timberwolves making a change here as well. Milicic is checked in. Nash kicks to Anthony. Now LeBron. It's in. LeBron's now got eight points. Probably time to bring an extra defender, change up the defense a little bit. Well, Steve, he's been so good. I think they got to take the ball out of his hands right now. Now, here's Harrington. Post up shot. Wallace misses. Timberwolves leading by six. And here's Anthony from the arc. Can't get it to go. Harrington kicks to Williams. Shot denied. Minnesota with the ball. Six-point lead. Here's LeBron. A quick shot there, and it's off target. And here are the Rockets. Now. They trail by six. Shumpert defended by Nash. Shumpert passes to Williams. The Rockets again can't hit. He's laboring out there right now, guys. The shot has not been falling for him this quarter. Guys, that's what he does. I mean, he excelled at getting to the rim. Knocked loose. There's 57 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Now a timeout called by Houston. He wants to make a few adjustments out there, and he's running through those with his team right now. So for the Rockets, Spencer Hawes has checked in for Elsa. Smith comes in for Al Harrington. And it's Foy in for Jumper. The Timberwolves also changing it up. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for Anthony. And Pierce subbed in for Kobe. Now here is Smith, averaging eight points a game. Wallace misses. And not really the guy you want taking that shot there. But three. It's rebounded by Houston. A chance at a two-for-one if they want it. Yeah, no question. If I'm them, I'm definitely going two-for-one. Milicic gets the reach-in call. That is his first foul of the game. Here's four. And Hawes kicks to Wallace. Over Pierce. And there's Gerald Wallace on the assist from Hawes. Nine points for Wallace. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And he continues to rack up the numbers. Guys, I tell you what, this is as well-rounded a game as you'll see. Williams dishes to Smith. Excellent steal that time. Pesky defensive play on this part. Here's LaPro oh, and the jam by LaCroix. A replay here. The Sprite Slam Cam showing us how it's done. They're all on the same page, no question. And that chemistry has helped them jump out to this big first quarter lead. A cohesive team can beat a talented one almost every time. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. Timberwolves ahead, up 10. I was impressed with their transition game, guys. They really got out and ran the lanes. Yeah, they did. I mean, no better way to get easy buckets than through fast breaks. We'll be back momentarily. Game five in the West as the conference semifinals continue. The Houston Rockets hit the road for a duel with the Minnesota Timberwolves this Friday, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. So many times I should have taken back this moment. These words and we're set to get started again for the next bit of action in this game three. 
Here's Smith. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. And so in the game for the Rockets. Spencer Hawes out there with Smith. And it's Smith. Then it's Quentin Richardson. And it's Foy in at the two. Six to shoot. Here's Smith. Okur with the block. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Here's LeBron. It's a 10-point game. Okur the pass to LeBron. Off his foot. And the refs whistling a kickball. Here's Pierce. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. He dishes it to LeBron. He feeds it to Okur. Here's Haslam. Cans it from short range. Haslam's got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the Timberwolves. Smith against Pierce. Pierce against Smith. Addition out to four. But three. That is good. Foy's got his first three points of the game. They're shooting the ball extremely well right now. They're looking at that three-point shot as a way to get some extra offense and really continue to fortify their momentum. Pierce for three. Count the bucket. And the Timberwolves lead by 12. If I must say so, I mean, they are doing a terrific job of moving the ball around here. Yeah, much better than their opponents. Seems like every time they score, it's coming off of an assist. Richardson kicks to Hawks. Working on Okur. Out to Smith. Lock at six. Pierce covering with one on the clock. Smith's shot is good. Smith's got his first bucket of the night. LeBron against Richardson. Can't connect from 14 feet out. Oh, cool. It's called for the reach. That's his first foul. So for the Rockets. Al Harrington's checked in for Smith. Jumper comes in for Randy Foy. And Lewis Williams subbed in for Smith. The Timberwolves also changing it up. Carmelo Anthony's checked in for Hazard. Durant comes in for Kobe. And it's Nash in for LeBron. Now a timeout called by Houston. On defense, the Timberwolves. Shumpert passes to Richardson. Pierce with the steal. Makes the alley -oop pass. Oh, oh, that should be illegal, Kevin. <laughs> what? Well, maybe the play of the game right there. An alley -oop slam is always going to be at the top of the list there, Clark. Yeah. You're right. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite plays in basketball, guys. Anthony again, Tarrington. Knocks it loose. So now that's twice we've seen the offense collapse. That's back-to-back -back empty trips because of turnover. Yeah, and that's going to be a problem because now all of a sudden you start turning the ball over. You lose all offensive rhythm and flow. Durant dishes to Nash. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. And the Timberwolves lead by 16. Here we go with Lewis Williams. Defended by Nash. Here's Harrington. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Harrington's got himself going there. His first points of the game in the deep ball. Pierce inside the three-point line, and there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. And as the game has gone along, they've gotten much more aggressive on the offensive boards. You know, crashing the boards is really an effort thing. It's an attitude and effort thing. And if teams get tired, they usually take a break on crashing the boards. Uh, but they've done just the opposite here. So for the Rockets, Francisco Elson's checked in for Hawes. Smith comes in for Al Harrington. And it's Wallace in for Quinton Richardson. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Kobe comes in for Paul Pierce. Williams against Nash. Duran against Wallace. We on the clock. And it's blocked. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. 
Here's Nash. Outside Anthony. Let's it go with a three. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. Nash has got his third assist on the night. Shepard guarded by Kobe. Bryant is whistled for reaching in. That's his first foul. Minnesota foul. Kobe Bryant. First person foul, two seconds. Here is Williams. Goes up. Carmelo Anthony grabs the board. With the second effort, and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. That free throw missing. Second free throw, no good. Timberwolves leading by 18. Duran up top, averaging nine points per contest. Here's Kobe. Outside for Durant. Tries again. Count that one. Durant's got six points in the quarter. Well, after struggling in the first quarter, he's come alive here in the second. Shumpert passes to Williams. Defended by Nash. Smith against Anthony. Just four to shoot. Here's Elson. Another miss by Houston. Difficult shot from mid-range, and the defense was all over him. Well, I like the close out there, Steve. Well done. And the basket by Kobe. You know, he's really one of those guys that you just have to sit back and really appreciate, fellas. I mean, he is a marvelous offensive player. Nash against Williams. Guarded now by Nash. To end the drought. The Rockets again can't hit. He can't find anything out there, and his misses are really hurting this team. They get it back. The Rockets really having a tough go here. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Wallace against Haslam. Here's Elson. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. It's going to be on Udonis Hensley. He can't complete the three-point play. They continue to pull down misses, and that's how they're maintaining this lead. Yeah, well, one and done is the recipe for continuing to hold on to a lead. You don't want to let the other team back in it by giving them extra possession. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. An excellent game we've seen from LeBron. 12 points and a steal. That's a first half he can be proud of. And he carried a lot of momentum into the locker room with him. And we'll be back live from Houston. And welcome everyone to HP at the half. Second round action is in full swing. Let's break it down. The Timberwolves making it look easy so far. They're looking for a second victory in a row tonight in game three of this series. For LeBron, it's been way too easy against the Rockets. He's got a dozen points and the defense has been rock solid. For the Rockets, they haven't had the same luck. They've been shooting themselves in the foot with all these turnovers. It's a sloppy brand of basketball. Not a great game for Luis Williams so far. It hasn't been pretty. He's only got one make from the field. Some fantastic numbers to enjoy here. What a first half for tonight's leading scorers. That's it for us here in the studio. We thank you for joining. Now. We welcome you back here to the coverage of the Western Conference semifinal. Here is Williams. So at Durant sitting on the bench, this is Rick Adelman's lineup. Anthony out there with LeBron James. Then there's Kobe. Then it's Nash. And it's Okur in at the center, filling out the middle. Shepard guarded by Kobe. Here's Hawes. Jams it with authority. Little, little room service time with that dish. Timberwolves leading by 18. Oh, and the jam by LeBron. That's the way to respond. I mean, anything you can do, I can do better. Well, maybe a little bit of a duel starting to erupt between these two guys. Well, that's possible. I mean, they definitely went at each other hard on those last two trips. That was a great replay on the Sprite Slam Camp. 
Nash against Williams. Wallace. Covered by LeBron. And the rejection by LeBron. And they get it back. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Here's Nash. Back to Anthony. Working it around now. From downtown. And LeBron with the basket, the assist from Okur. Okur's got four assists now tonight. Bryant is tagged with the reach. That'll be his second foul of the game. Now a timeout called by Houston. And obviously, Coach doesn't want them giving up all these inside buckets. They need to do a better job of moving their feet, staying in their stance, and keeping their man in front of them. Kevin Durant checked in for the Timberwolves. Pierce comes in for Steve Nash. Out of bounds. They'll keep possession. And took a gamble there to try to disrupt that pass. Yeah, he couldn't quite get a hold of it, but still a nice play. Here's Williams. Guarded now by Durant. Another miss by Houston. That's a string of bad shooting for him. He's starting to rush things a little bit, I think. And that's the instinct you'd like to see, but he'd be better off just slowing things down a little bit. Here is Williams. Pierce covering. Pierce gets called for the reach. That's his first foul. Here's Smith. Shumpert guarded by Kobe. Shot clock at five. And Hawes kicks to Wallace. Yeah, just one for four here in the third quarter, so very slow start for this club. The three-pointer off the mark. I don't like his body language, guys, right now. He looks like he's completely out of rhythm. And here's Kobe from the arc. Kobe can't get that one to fall. Here's Houston now. They've definitely hit that groove offensively. They sure have, guys. I mean, really aggressive. And I like that posture and mindset. Stay aggressive. Yeah. Steve, you like groove, don't you? I do. I love groove, Kevin. And I love the attack mode this team is in, too. I mean, they're really getting into the paint. They're getting whatever they want offensively. Here's Hawes. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Here's Kobe. Takes it up, and the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. Well, I think that the Rockets need to change their strategy against Kobe. He has 11 points and a steal. Boy, what a terrific effort from him in so many ways. You know what? He's been just as good offensively, guys, as he has been on the defensive end. Boy, he had a good look there. Got to take those when they come. The three from LeBron. It's rebounded by Houston. Here's Williams, knocked away. Man, another mistake. This is embarrassing. I mean, you've got to make better decisions than that. Smith checked in for Houston. Some changes for Minnesota. Here's Heinrich. Now the Timberwolves with it. Good momentum, eight straight points. Anthony's shot is off. And Clark, they've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, I think so. Too cool. I mean, just not forceful enough, not alert or aggressive enough, and sometimes trying to do too much with the basketball. Sometimes you, you just got to make the easy pass. Somebody's open, throw it to them. When you do that multiple times, the game starts to find a flow to itself. Wasted no time on that one. Allen's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Here's Smith, gets the bucket from 20 feet away. Timberwolves on offense. They're on an 11-2 run. Back to Allen. Guarded now by Gerald Wallace. No good from the wing. Here's Smith. Out to Smith. Back to Smith, covered by Anthony. The tray. The offensive rebound, pause, 
Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. Three-pointer. And that's collected by Smith. Smith's got seven rebounds in the game. Smith against Allen. It's stolen by Allen. Just too careless with the basketball. They're not giving themselves a chance. I mean, you can't score if you don't take care of the ball. Well, they really look to run immediately after that turnover. Well, that's how you cash in. You don't want to waste any time after the turnover. Go at it right away. Smith against Ridenauer. Ridenauer against Smith. Shot clock at six. Wallace outside. Wallace with another miss. He's really struggling in this quarter right now. They need to think about getting the ball out of his hand. Ridenauer's shot is off. Here's Houston now. And the layup falls. Here's Heinrich looking for his first bucket of the game. Quick shot. And that is good. Another fast break hoop. They're just outrunning their opponent here. You know what, Steve? I think the defense has left themselves vulnerable, and they're learning the hard way that speed definitely kills. Smith against Ridenauer. Six on the shot clock. And the officials call over the back a little too aggressive there. Well, you like the effort, but you got to be smarter. There. You can't climb over anybody's back to try to get the ball. Yeah, if I was coaching him, I said, I like your effort, but you're hurting us, son. Be smart out there. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Al Harrington's checked in for Smith. Foy comes in for Shumpert. And Lewis Williams subbed in for Smith. Cannot count on him to miss a good look like that very often. Harrington, Pierce covering. Harrington can't get it to go. On loads, there's Pierce. That's good on the assist from Kobe. Seven points for Paul Pierce. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. Well, why eat at the drive-thru when you can sit down at the buffet and have all you can eat, Clark? <laughs> Classic. <laughs> well, I know you've been listening, partner. I like that. Uh, that's exactly what you need to do. Take advantage of what's available. Timberwolves ahead, delivering the blowout. Second round playoff action. It's game four in the East. The Chicago Bulls go up against the Miami Heat this Wednesday. While we're still getting underway here in the fourth, let's go down to Doris Burke, who has our Sprite Spark of the Game report. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. It's the Timberwolves with the spark of the game with that push we saw. That big second quarter is where they took control, and they haven't slowed up since. Okay, Doris, thank you. And that run, Clark, really changed the complexion of this game. Yeah, it sure did. I thought it stirred something up in them that got them on a good run. Yeah, got the ball rolling for them, and they were able to keep it going from there, guys. So with Smith sitting on the bench, here's the five for Kevin McHale right now. Foyle is out there with Lou Williams. Then it's Al Harrington. Then there's Josh McRoberts. And it's Richardson in at the small forward. Here's LeBron. Can't get it to go. And the Rockets go the other way. For three, that's good. So tough for the defense to get out to the three-point line in transition. Here's Pierce. Fires from deep. LeBron with another miss. And here is Williams. Picked up by Kobe. Beyond the arc. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Six points in short order. Two straight from deep. That's what can happen with yep. the three ball. Yep. yep, they got it going. Nice, clean looks. Durant is whistled for reaching in. That'll be his second foul of the game. Minnesota calls timeout. The coach doesn't look pleased at all. He's going to try to iron things out. Yeah. 
Here's Foy, guarded by Kobe. And Foy kicks to Williams. Pierce with the steal. And I like the aggressiveness defensively, forcing that mistake. You know, you get better elevation with the one-hand dunk, and it's the most basic of all. Keep it simple. And probably the most reliable. Hey, how hard to mess that one up. Here is McRoberts, defended by Okur. Harrington, the rebound by Kobe Bryant. Kobe's got his fifth rebound in this one. From deep LeBron, and it's Randy Foy with the rebound. Kobe against Williams. Harrington against LeBron. Here's Foy. Money from the lane. And so here is Minnesota. And the dunk by Kobe. You know, it's really the kind of game you expect from him, guys. I mean, extremely efficient. Taking a lot of good shots. Williams against Pierce. Now, here is Foy. Here's Harrington. He goes up. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And defensively, you want to keep the ball as far away from the hoop as possible. Yeah, because he's too good inside, Steve. I mean, he'll make you pay every time in there. Pierce could. He's one of the few guys you don't mind seeing take the three in transition. Pierce against Williams. Stolen by Durant. Boy, Kevin, you have to take better care of the ball, and they just haven't done that this half after doing a good job in the first. And the ball travels out of bounds. Turnover. Just a lapse in focus there because that looked to be a pretty easy pass to make. Houston with a big group substitution here. Spencer Hawes is checked in for Josh McRoberts. Smith comes in for Al Harrington. Gerald Wallace, he's checked in for Quentin Richardson. And Shumpert in there for Randy Ford. It's been all Timberwolves. Three-pointer, Heinrich. It's hauled in by Smith. And they're pushing it up. Takes it up. Finish off the break. Yeah, he did awfully well to thread that pass there into the paint. Heinrich kicks to Anthony. Nailed from three-point land. That's a tougher shot than you hope for off a fast break, but you can't argue with the result. Timeout called the Rockets. Well, their offense is unraveling, Kevin. They're going back to the drawing board, trying to find a way to get back on track. Darko Milicic, she's checked in for the Timberwolves. Darko Milicic. It's stolen by Allen. There's the triple, and again, Minnesota with the triple. They're in a groove now. These three-pointers just falling at will here in the second half. Yeah, I think the defense has got major headaches because this team's just not missing. And Smith backing in. Williams against Ridenauer. Ridenauer gets the reach-in call. That's his first foul. First foul. Here's Smith. On the wing, Wallace, defended by Allen. Here's Williams. Oh, the one-hand jam. Boy, that's a big boy's throwdown right there. I mean, how many point guards can explode to the rim like he does? He's one of the few, no question about it. Now, he is not afraid to take it into the big trees, guys. He will go right in on you and go right to the body and pump it home. Steps back and shoots. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. 139 left in the fourth quarter. Heinrich dishes to Aslan. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. That one on Waltz. First free throw is good. Good on both. Here is Williams. He's guarded by Ridna. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Williams has got seven now in this quarter. Allen for three. Josh Smith pulls it in. Smith's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. That one goes. Count. Minnesota calls timeout. They're winning by 32. 
There's 117 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Whole new look on the floor for Minnesota. There's 117 left to play here on the fourth. And it goes out of bounds following the shot. And here are the Rockets now. They get a hand on it. Kobe with the steal. Here's Anthony. Sticks it from 17 feet. Now this is a done deal here. They've pretty much finished this team off. Yep, we can put this one in the books. Too much to overcome now. The shot by Williams, no good. It's been all Timberwolves. From outside the arc, and Anthony gets it to go on the assist by LeBron. Another bucket, and they are just pulling away here now. Yep, no doubt about it. They're sprinting to the finish line. Fifty-one seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Williams. The shot, no good. Now the Timberwolves will take it the other way. Good defense there. He was just waiting for that one. The three from LeBron. Williams pulls it in. Well, in most games, he can knock it down from deep, but it just isn't there for him in this one. Shumpert passes to Wallace, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's on Memento Court. Yeah, plenty of contact there. Easy call. Steve, when you miss a shot like that, you know he got hit on the way up. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Left side, Kobe. Pierce for three. Can't get the three to fall. Takes the three. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Well, they're just trying to run clock now. I mean, this thing is pretty much over. Yeah, there's nothing but the result to be determined. Um, so it's time to start thinking about the next game now. Shot on the wing. No good. And so it's the Timberwolves taking care of business here. And this one was such a lopsided victory. They never let up. They were full throttle from the start. Time for us to say so long. Thanks for watching 2K Sports presentation, the coverage of the second round of the NBA playoffs. For Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our great 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long. We'll see you next time. But first, let's reveal the Jordan player of the game.